Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to have a quick look at fault tree analysis. So I'm on the on the new tab, and although you can see it there, it, it lives inside the business section. So I'm going to click on business just to get you there. This is how you'd have to do it on your machine. And there it is. This is what we're going to do, this diagram. Have a quick look at this. So I've clicked on that, and then I'm going to click create, and... We get some stencils as always, quick shapes, some basic shapes, arrow shapes, and the fault tree analysis shapes. And as I've said before, you can bring any stencil from any of the template into this if you wish. And if you've got your own stencil stencils, like I have there, look loads of them, you can open them and bring them into this. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a fault tree analysis on a model aircraft crash. So first of all, I'm going to bring in the event. Now, you can type in there, so model aircraft crash. That's what we're going to call it. Spell it right. Aircraft crash. Now, you've got the normal um, connecting uh, icons coming out from the sides, above and below, like you can see there. So what I want to come out um, from this one is an OR connector. So that one there is an OR connector. But you've got different types of OR connectors. You've got a basic one there and a basic AND, a basic event, and then you've got these different ones. So rather than when I click on that one, what one's that bringing out? That is bringing the basic one, so that's okay. So I want OR there, and then I want three events. So what I need to do is... Coming out of there, I haven't got the event. I've got a, a smaller task there. Look, it's coming out with um, the diamond shape, which is an undeveloped event. I want actually to bring in some more of these. So I'm going to activate, if I go back to home and click on the connector tool, if I then bring in an event, um, I should have clicked, kept that click, clicked actually. So let me just click that, do that again. Delete that one off. Keep that one clicked. Click on the connector tool and then um, drag the event in like that. Click that again and drag another event in like so. So one, two, three I want. So bring another, oops, nearly didn't, didn't do it right. Click on that one and bring another one in like so. And then you end up with three events. You can position these, reposition these across. It's totally up to you how you do that. It's not set in stone that you have to do it like I've just done. Um, but as you get used to messing about with Visio, you'll find all sorts of little quirks that cause you a bit of grief. So the three main events is going to be loss of control for this one. And then the middle one is going to be loss of comms. Loss of comms. And the last one's going to be hit object. Hit object. Object. So those are your events. Now underneath there, each of these I need an OR symbol. So I can now go back to this one and get my little OR. Uh, it's shoving that down a bit far, well, a bit further than what I want anyhow. So I'm going to move that up a little bit. And I want OR on this one as well. Undo, don't want that. That one. OR, and then shove, shove that one up in line with the other one. Get the right symbol, otherwise you're moving all sorts of stuff. Just going to put the grid line on this so I can see the grids. And then just move that up in line with that. You get the lines coming across telling you you've got it in the same sort of place. And then same with that one. You could just move that up and until you get these little green lines. So they're all lined up. That's okay. So coming out of loss of control, I want two more. So I'm going to click on that back i've actually got the connected tool there actually i'll click it on there so i i want another event so it's gonna i'm gonna have two events coming out of here click on that one and click on that one like so and then i'm going to do the same with the other one so bring out the events connected tool whoops nearly did it again it's quite easy to forget that and then bring that one across so I'll fix that in a minute and then the last one and 
back on that, bring that one across. So now I need to fix this, I need to take off that one and just shift it to the side. And in fact I'll put it on the top, I need to shift that end to the bottom, like so. And this probably needs to go back a little bit, that's why it's not doing that. I don't want to spend half my life doing these. So I've got to get these arrows off. Stick that one up, take it to the bottom. Don't know what's going on with this set. There's always one that plays up. All the other ones are joining in nice and neat on the side. This one's deciding to do whatever it wants to do. So I'm going to get rid of it all together and do it myself. It's coming down from there to there. Take that off. That's what I'll do. Just move that to the right a bit using the arrow key. All right, so this first one is going to be, so you've got loss of control and I've got two, two events here. Power loss. Power loss and this one can be mechanical failure. I'll just put mech failure. And then this one is going to be frequency jammed. Freak jammed. You can type the whole thing if you want. And then after frequency, antenna, A, E, broken. And then this one, the last one, is going to be hit, um, hit pylon. So hit pylon. We should probably do catastrophic damage to a model airplane. Hit bird. And this is basically what you do, you just build up your diagram like this. So now coming down again, I want an AND, so we haven't got an AND, we haven't had an AND. So from power loss, um, coming out of this one, so power loss, so I haven't got anything coming out the bottom of there. So I put my connector on, I want an AND coming out of the bottom of there. And coming out of the bottom of there, I, w I don't want any of these. I want a, um, oh yeah, I do. I want that one, a circle. Take that off for a minute, come down, just push that up and make it go like so. And I do want two circles, but let's just um, see if I can get another one coming out. Uh, shove that up next to it and play around with the lines forever and ever. Oh, by magic, that's done it. Okay, that'll do. Let's bring that one in a little bit. So this one is going to be battery battery replaced. Two T's in battery. And this one is going to be battery charged. Battery charged. So this is how you do the diagram, this is how the flow works. You can put or in these boxes if you want. People might not know what they mean. And uh, this one's and, that shape is and. It's totally up to you. So this is the, um, what you're gonna do. You're gonna do that and you're gonna do that. So if mechanical failure, I've not got anything coming out of that. Um, antenna broken, antenna broken, I've got something coming out of there. So I want another, um, it would be another or, so I'll just come down one more level. So that's finished that one. This one, if I click on it, hasn't finished. It's deciding not to give me the arrows now. Okay, so I'll have to do it manually. So what I want coming out of there is a another uh, or, not an and, or gate. So that should have come out. There's it lining up with the and over there, lining it up. Take that off. And then coming out of this, I want two of these again. One, click, and just move that up in line with this. And then coming out of that, I want another one. It's not going to give me it, is it? Let's move that over there a bit. Yes, it is. Now it does. There you go. Shove that up there. Line that up. Bring that across. And put all in there. 
put all in there and in there and then what is the solution for this um oh, hang on getting ahead of myself i said or didn't i i want an or that is or so or i was right the first time so this is going to go down another level so antenna broken on the plane so a a e for the um shortcut for antenna for broken on the plane and for AE broken on TX for transmitter. Couple of military terms there. Oops, I didn't want that. And now so these one these would have to have an end to keep coming down and but basically that's how you create these fault trees fault tree analysis and work it out how you want to do it and it's a nice pretty little diagram and that's the end of this session so hopefully that was of use to you and i'll see you in the next one